River showed that she had enough control over regeneration to be able to use it to attack Hitler's soldiers. She was also able to use her remaining regeneration energy to bring the doctor back to life after she poisoned him, although she had to use up all of her remaining regenerations in order to do so. TV. Let's kill Hitler. She had an extremely keen sense of smell enabling her to detect the presence of living or dead bodies, audio, the boundless sea, and a respiratory bypass system, but had little experience with using it. She was also able to sense time shifts. Audio. I went to a marvelous party. River also had two hearts. Audio. The Eye of the Storm, Songs of Love. River was known as, the child of the TARDIS, and the time machine had taken a particular liking to her and taught her how to fly her. River was a very fast learner, becoming skilled at flying the TARDIS in a remarkably short time and she was able to control the time machine even more proficiently than the doctor, despite the fact that the doctor had been flying the TARDIS for centuries. TV, The Big Bang, The Impossible Astronaut, Let's kill Hitler, she indicated at one point she was so good at it, she stole and returned the TARDIS multiple times before the doctor even noticed it was gone. TV, The Husbands of River Song. River also seemed to be well versed in temporal theory and advanced sciences, like Jack Harkness and the doctor himself. In addition to her ability to fix, operate, and maintain the doctor's TARDIS, she was proficient with her scanner. TV, The Time of Angels, The Pandorica Opens, The Impossible Astronaut and was able to build a timey wimey distress beacon. TV, The Wedding of River Song. She was also able to read and write Old High Gallifreyan, TV, The Time of Angels, and without benefit of the TARDIS translation circuit she inscribed the oldest graffiti in the universe on Planet One. TV, The Pandorica Opens. Additionally, River spoke French. Audio, The Boundless Sea. In addition to piloting the TARDIS, River often used a vortex manipulator and was able to use it to get wherever she needed to be. She was able to escape from Stormcage easily, even without the doctor coming to pick her up. TV, The Pandorica Opens, The Impossible Astronaut, A Good Man Goes to War, H-O-M-E-V-I-D, First Night, Last Night. She sometimes made impressive entrances whilst using the vortex manipulator, such as when she made a bright flash of light appear when she teleported to Demon's Run. TV. The Pandorica opens, a good man goes to war, she was able to modify it some way. Audio, the Sonomancer. However, in her later life she seemed to abandon use of the Vortex Manipulator, preferring to steal the TARDIS and return it before the doctor noticed it missing. She specifically stated she needed the TARDIS to reach the harmony and redemption before its destruction rather than using her Vortex Manipulator as she would have in the past. TV, The Husbands of River Song. River Song proved able to achieve results in the academic field, since she gained a doctorate and a tenure in archaeology, TV, silence in the library, closing time et al., and five master's degrees from the Sorbonne. Audio, The Sonomancer. River was also incredibly strong and in her first incarnation she was able to force her way out of the spacesuit that had been holding her prisoner. Even when she was forced back inside the spacesuit in her last incarnation, she drained the energy from the weapon intended to kill the doctor despite saying that the spacesuit was in control. TV, The Impossible Astronaut, The Wedding of River Song. In her second incarnation she demonstrated her superhuman strength when she fought with Krampus minions. Comic, Imaginary Enemies. River was incredibly good at escaping. She made a habit of escaping Stormcage to the point that the guards were aware of her multiple escapes but were unsuccessful at stopping them. In one instance, upon her return, River called the guards to taunt them that she was back. TV, the Pandorica opens, day of the moon, a good man goes to war. Indeed, she only remained locked in prison as she chose to remain there to further the deception that she killed the doctor. TV, the wedding of River Song. She stated that she had a significant history of escaping. TV, the husbands of River Song, audio, the sonomancer. River was also extremely skilled with a gun being able to shoot the doctor's fez which Amy threw in the air and shot a Dalek right through its eye stock. TV, the Big Bang, and later shot the doctor's Stetson clean off his head without harming him and killed a whole group of silence in order to protect her family. She was also able to spin her gun and shoot down a surviving silent without even looking at it, despite their demonstrated ability to erase themselves from her memory when she wasn't looking at them, suggesting she was still able to perceive either it or the other dead silence in the room or used her father's reaction to the silent he could see behind her. TV, 
the impossible astronaut, day of the moon. She could also wield a range of guns, from pistols and revolvers to submachine guns. TV, let's kill Hitler. Despite being known for her guns, River didn't carry one at all later in her life. H-O-M-E-V-I-D, first night, last night, TV, the angels take Manhattan. When conning King Hydroflax, River instead used her sonic trowel as a weapon and didn't seem to be carrying an actual weapon as a result. TV, The Husbands of River Song.